Environmental Charter High School is embracing the future of green technology by working with businesses to educate and find solutions to creating sustainable environments, much like their newly constructed sustainable solar-powered greenhouse. Our Londa Living Camera crew was there to capture the grand opening of this new living textbook. Today was the ribbon cutting for our greenhouse, which we recently had funded. And our greenhouse is another example on our campus of how we use sustainability to teach students. It's a completely closed system. It uses solar energy. It's completely off the grid. So it's got, in, inside of it, it's got a number of innovations. The air is controlled, the temperature is controlled. So it's really um, a great learning tool. It's a laboratory and it's a, it's a completely self-contained, sustainable system that, that kids can learn about from a whole diff, bunch of different perspectives. We also have an aquaculture system, which is another closed system or a closed loop. And what we're doing uh, is we're growing fish in here, tilapia, that can be eaten. Those tilapia are creating ammonia and nitrogen, or nitrates, uh, from their waste and that nitrate is being converted into nitrogen by the plants up here. And so the plants are benefiting from the nitrates and the ammonia that's coming from the fish, and basically the plants are filtering the water to keep those nitrate levels at a certain uh, safe level for the fish. And so that's really what we're doing with this greenhouse. It's a model to teach systems thinking. I think it's critical, especially where we are in California, trying to lead the nation in renewable energy, green energy, and having an environmental charter school with its focus there. We really believe this is the future. And they're not just teaching you like academics, they're actually like preparing you for life. And they're teaching you about these, this like environmental lifestyle that can actually be implemented into your own life and it changes your quality of life completely. I say it over and over, partnerships are one of our best practices. Without them, we wouldn't be where we are. Uh, they not only contribute financial resources, but they contribute the expertise that we wouldn't otherwise know how to do. We're a school. We don't know about solar or how it works. So if it wasn't for partners, we couldn't make these things happen. Because they provide our teachers with training on how to make it work. And then they provide us with the funding to install those systems on our campus. And it all comes together that way. You know, the budget's been cut six, seven years in a row now. We get less funding per student. Um, the only way we can close the gap is by partnering with foundations, uh, corporations, uh, individuals who support our mission and cause. Because without Pacific Coast Termite support, the expansion of the work that's been done here wouldn't be possible. So we use everyday ad spends from corporations, in this case Pacific Coast Termite, we use their ad spend on CBS assets, television and radio, to help gap finance this project here today. I mean, being able to take money that we spend, we we're going to spend anyway, and, and take a portion of that to help fund a project like this, the greenhouse behind me, is it's just a phenomenal thing. We contributed the solar panels completely. We redid the, we pre-treated this whole building with our products, which are all green products. This is a very unique project because it's another way that we bring our campus alive for our students. I believe that you can learn more, more for, in a greenhouse since you're actually doing the activity with your hands on, not with a pencil and paper. At Environmental Charter, we're very intentional about making sure that there is experiential learning happening so that students are taking what they learn in the classroom and actually doing it, seeing it, and changing it. Because not only was I learning about the environment, but I was learning college preparatory things that were going to help prepare me for the future. These kids are going to be our next workforce, they're going to be our next property owners, our next co-workers, our, 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 could be our next managers. You know, one of these guys have the next Google or Facebook idea in their head that, you know, it's going to change uh, the landscape of, of, of what California looks like in the future. If you'd like to find out more about Environmental Charter High School and the new solar-powered greenhouse, you can visit the school online at www.echsonline.org.